In this tutorial, we will check out 3D filters. 3D filters located on the 3D tab, 3D filters, or navigator, 3D filters. These four filters are default ones. By making a right click or the filter, you can add a new one, rename, delete, or duplicate it, activate it in the selected 3D view or in the old views, select a filter 3D objects, or load, unload elements like filtered elements, unfiltered elements from the computer's memory. For example, let's activate same as task filter and click activate in the selected 3D view. Go to the task filter and remove this tick. Now unassigned objects have been filtered out from the view. Open the 3D view properties, filters. Here we can combine various filters and change visibility for unfiltered objects. Let's stick visibility. And now we can adjust the color for unfiltered objects and transparency. The transparency field is not visible, but you can click over it and set a new value. For example, I'll set 90% and it's almost transparent. Let's return it to 50. Now let's create a few new filters. Make a right click or empty space and select add. Let's select 3D using dates 3D view and select activate and selected 3D view. Now the filter appeared in the 3D view properties. And now let's activate filtered by name. Go to the name and let's, for example, filter out all elements which name includes roof and walls. By adding names, we can filter out the elements in the 3D view. Also, we can specify the match properties. And by switching it from include to exclude, hide these elements from the 3D view. Or display them half visible by checking the visibility and providing transparency along with the color. Let's rename this 3D filter. Click once over its name and let's name it as Roofs and Walls. Now let's go ahead and add a new one. Right click, Add. And click Activate in Selected 3D View. So by clicking on these arrows, shift the new 3D filter down. So for the new 3D filter, we will filter our view by resources. Now open the resources, select exclude notches, and let's select electrical equipment. In the 3D view properties, let's untick original color, and you can see that we've successfully combined two filters in one 3D view. Now let's delete these filters. The other filtering options are filtered by last resource status. Let's see it. Activate it. Let us assign status to few objects. Navigator select resource status. Select the wall. And let's assign its status as damaged. Make right click, assign, and let it be today's date. And the roof will be inspected. Now let's select damaged status and activate this filter in the 3D view. You can exclude it from the view and adjust its visibility from the 3D view properties. Filter by company is also available. Filter by 3D is almost the same as for the resource, but filter by user fields is worth attention. Let's activate it and look for fire resistance parameter. Activate fire resistance. And you can immediately see what objects do not have fire resistance assigned. Let's say we would like to see all A1 values. Exclude the matches. And all elements where fire resistance set as A1 is displayed on the view. Now we can change it to B. But we already created resource codes. Let's go to the general and activate codes.
switch to exclude matches and uh, deactivate original color and now let's see only A1 and A2 values for alternatively we can filter out elements where no fire rating assigned and again, in the help, you can learn more about filters. Also, you can check what filter has been applied on the 3D view by making right click over it and select filters and see what filter is active on the view. In order to deactivate all filters, press on show all and all filters will be deactivated.